What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, Zika Milligan, the villain from the trailer, and we are back on the Crooked Mind. But last episode, we did some shit in a hospital, I think? We did some shit in a hospital. We kicked the Crooked Man's ass again, and we saved some little fuck. We finished scene three. Time for scene four. Damn it, Dave hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? Damn, she got titties. David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help, now did it? Bitch, you suggested it. It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What place did you pick, bro? What the fuck were you on? Why did... What do you mean? Why would the room be... Ugh, don't tell ghost stories at a time like this. I'm always talking about how you see things and... David, David, where are you? The abandoned hospital in Stafford. Why the hell are you all the way over there? Listen, I'll find you so wait for me. Don't move so much as a muscle. Don't come, please, don't. Leave me alone. David, hey, David! God, he's on Stafford. Probably take a day to get there by my motorcycle. Mario, I'm going to get David. I'm going with you. David's my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. No, that, that's what you're supposed to say. This is too dangerous. Stay home. And be all heroic. David's car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Oh, shit. We're playing as Polly Paw. Those footsteps? They were from upstairs. Is that you, David? Damn, a dead ass kitties. My God. Don't look, Marion. It's not good for your health. She says she leaving a boyfriend. The fuck is that? Who's there? What are you doing there? What the hell is that? A, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What is this about? Go see him. Man, what the hell was that? Well, shit. Who the hell even was that? That's some weird ass ghost person. Nothing in here. Damn, I do not remember all of these shits being locked. Fuck you mean go see him? The nigga is not here. Okay, I fucking read that shit already. Hey, doesn't it sound like David? Oh yeah, the thing about the mother going crazy and and the, and the son like, you know, being worried and shit. I should have read it again. I'm sorry. Doesn't it sound like David? It's exactly like him and his mother. Yeah. It's wild to think there'd be someone else in an identical situation. Ain't shit. Someone else. David? Hey, who are you? Oh, that's that guy. Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? 
Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth. What? I'm counting on you. So the first girl was sissy. I'm guessing the second... Because why the fuck is he even here? He shouldn't be here. Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. What the fuck is going on? It turns out... Paul was the crooked man all along. The fuck? I don't know. Stop. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. A kid. Don't tell me a kid's wandering around here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked mat cat, was caught a crooked mouse. Kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a crooked little house. Hey, are you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is my crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time and he just sighed. And so he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with that kid? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Oh, fuck is up with her. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion, what do you mean teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David, no jokes. So that's it. Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened to you, I'd be putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. All right, please, come back quickly. Right. Shit. Does that mean David never got to save them? Either they were already dead in here, or David never actually saved them. They died during the first Crooked Man attack, and David was just seeing their ghosts. Damn, that would be fucked. Just wait for me, David. David, what are you doing out there? Don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. Save. Save. David. Paul, oh, why are you here? I came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave, stay away! David, you! I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. Woo! <laughs> David, what's that? Agony. Living is agony. 
Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David! Nigga, punch this nigga! Ah! Ow! No, so, you damn monster! Get away from David! Hey, 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 ow, stop! Hey, ow, ow! Ah! That hurts! Stop it, bitch! David, you're back with us. Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been saying from the start. Like hell? If that's the kind of thing you do saying, I'd have to beat the fuck out of you till you promise not to. Now, about this stuff that's been happening, you better tell me everything that happened. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my cult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Mario never believe me, sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy, D, and the kiddo, I think I met him. Huh, that's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousnesses, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult stick? You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen and no jokes. So you've had a pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yeah, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of, look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff he left, and that was all stuff you could identify with. So what would you think? So what would you think of a guy who's a spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he, he thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He helped me, got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Huh, what's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address, and I don't think it's that far. I'm going, I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David! You gotta come back to us, safe. I don't wanna go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know, thanks. Wow. Scene four was short as fuck. Scene five, home sweet home.
This is a place for sure. Could this be his house? Who the fuck are you? Excuse me, can I have a second? What? Ain't seeing you around here going for a stroll? No, actually. Uh, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean uh, Mrs. McGonaghan? McGonaghan? Someone named McGonaghan lives here? Not anymore. Mrs. McGonaghan passed away last year. House has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house it is. Yeah, I think she had a son. Wish he just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, I never seen him. I only moved there a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. I seen. That all? Gotta get home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. It's good to take a walk in the morning, but it sure is cold. Don't catch a cold or nothing. Yeah, thank you. You too. Fuck you taking a walk for it, dumb nigga. McGonagh. Alrighty. I only have one key. Let's try it. Oh, it worked. Perfect. Musty women's shoes. Nigga, clean your feet, you dirty bitch. Damn. Can't even get through here. You could at least clean the house. Ugh. This dirty ass house. So your mama dying, you should leave her house to fucking rot. You a horrible son. If you ain't gonna sell it, the least you could do is make sure it look, is make sure it stays clean. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man, and all it could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. Damn, he said the crooked man should have just killed himself. Hey, crooked man. I'm gonna be real, man. I wouldn't let that shit slide. You gotta say something to him. Tell him, like, he, he said, gee, you should have just killed yourself. You gotta do something about that. Can't let that slide. Not me, crooked man. The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't calm down my heart. In the end, my festering heart just oozes more and I tear up the paper. <sighs> Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. You edgy bitch. Get some pussy and stop bitching. If he had level 13 riz like I do, he would not be complaining like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. Why, why, why? No, no, no. <sighs> Bro got his ass ate. Hmm. I promise, like, bro would not, he would not be this damn dramatic about his life if he just watched Higurashi. I'm not gonna lie. Watch Higurashi and beat your dick to fucking Mio Takano porn? Mio Takano hentai? My nigga, you've achieved peak happiness. Out of cigarettes, I need a smoke. Smoking isn't gonna do it. Smoking is not as effective as beating your dick to Mio Takano. The rule on this notebook matches the scraps I have. There's a name on this. Duke. Duke McGahan. This nigga named Duke. Uh 
Oh. Hell no. Nah. Won't open. The fuck you mean won't open? You better get it open. Yo, stop crying. Crooked man. I, I can't go over to your side. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end. gonna be like you you won't catch me as much misery as I encounter as painful and bloody as it might be I'll keep living this nigga think it's p3 he think he in persona 3 so be gone be gone from this world foul demon I have exercised you and your compatriots that shall follow from the afterlife will be sent back to the fires blazing in Shaddai. Hell yeah. Don't do shit. Nigga like me save. <laughs> Open that shit. Oh, he done hung himself. Duke. Damn, man. That's wild. It be like that, though, man. It be like that sometimes. You. You detested me. Though I lived such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. Comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down. To take me with you. But didn't you... Want to be saved deep down? So you called me? No, that's not right. You were trying to help me. To tell me, don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place, so... This nigga killed himself. He's not going to no good place. This nigga burning in hell. Now you can rest in peace. Wow, sounds like a real ordeal, David. I mean, finding a corpse while you're on a trip, but it sounds like it ended up all right. I'll go get you some tea.
He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I beat his ass though. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged that I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later I'd take the same path. Thinking of that, thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always oh, such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. I fucked him up. Hello? It's Shirley, bitch ass, ain't it? Huh? His mama dead. Okay, I, I'll head right there. David, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. My mom's condition took a turn. They're preparing to do the operation. T take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Bike faster than a car? Doctor, mom, mom's condition. She dead, my nigga. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing a tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to... Doctor, please save my mom. She's the only family I have, please. Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best we can. Okay. Hold on. Doctor, mom, mom! The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight would be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. Mother, mother, wake up, mother, mother! David, mom! Mom, oh thank God he woke up. You really? I felt like I was in the darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you, I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay, it's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was always just struggling to be happy, but I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed. And after all the hardships I'd given her, I foolishly doubted, thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why. Do you hate me for it? Don't be fucking stupid, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Having you as my son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things, and I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's fucked. That's fucked. Here you go, mom. Mom. Damn. Mom. Fuck a happy ending. Well, shit. She she got a good funeral. I'm, I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. I'm gonna live without blaming myself. Those words are gonna help a lot. 
It's fine if I have to suffer, if I can be smiling in the end. Not a crooked smile though, right? David! What? Marion, why are you? What the fuck? Shirley, why are you? Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you give David the cold show? Shut your bitch ass up! Ahem, we are going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. Mm. David, I heard about your mother. So you brought flowers, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David, I was uneasy. I was unsure of where I was going, worried that the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I really am the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but... David, if it's okay with you, would you like to... David, I'm, I'm sorry, please don't cry. No, I'm not sad, I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I just lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. Don't walk on the couch. It's okay, Shirley. However off-kilter things get, we can set them straight if that's what we want. David. Does this have HC? No. You know what I think? The crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. hope to see you again until then rest in peace the good end bye bye black ass bird Woo! this game was fire this game was low-key fire Oh shit. End. Hey, that's the end of the crooked man. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, read them all, tap into the next one. Let me know if y'all want me to uh continue the series with the Sandman, Hangman, and the other man, the Christmas man, or whatever the fuck that shit was. Let me know if y'all want to continue the series, man. I low-key want to, but I, I low-key want to. I want to. I, I'm gonna wait for y'all, but I low-key want to. But I enjoyed this game, man. Uh yeah, I'm glad to be getting back into these damn RPG makers, man. Cause them shits were fire. Peace out. I love y'all. Tap into the next one.